I really just say brain juice? Ugh. <laughs>welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Kirielle I'm super duper excited today we are going to be doing a review and try on of the brand new me myself and Mama Mitchell eyeshadow palette this is a collaboration with a amazing talented makeup artist who is from Manchester called Mama Mitchell I believe he got his fame from Instagram and honestly his looks are just so creative and I just you know sometimes I look at them and I'm just wondering like how did you come up with that like how did you put two and two together to make that it just, just blows my mind <laughs> so beauty bay decided to collab to create a 32 matte and shimmer eyeshadow palette when i saw this palette revealed i was so excited the looks that were being created also the colors that were involved and i was hoping that it was going to be so affordable i knew that i really wanted to have it so i see it i like it i want it I got it. Yeah. Again, I can never stop singing Ariana Grande. It's just relevant, okay? <laughs> Before we get into all the details of the palette, if you are new to my channel and you love a little bit of makeup, then why not subscribe? We've got a lovely bunch of people here, a lovely little community, which you are more than welcome to join. So if you'd like to, hit the red subscribe button and the bell button, and that'll just notify you of all my future uploads. And if you'd like me to do more colorful looks, please leave a thumbs up because, I mean, we're gonna be getting into it, but I could do some colorful looks with this bad boy. Okay, I got myself some options. <laughs> oh, and also my next video should have a new background, although I really love this background and I know you guys like this background, but we gotta spook it up a little. Don't worry, it'll come back. I need to start creating some Halloween content. We are coming in to autumn, guys. Some people are in denial, I wanna embrace. <laughs> this is my favorite time of year. I cannot believe we're in September already. The days are getting shorter. Cozy nights are coming in. Pumpkin spice lattes are now available. Strictly music is coming on. Britain's Got Talent is started. X Factor is going to be coming soon. It is upon us, people. <laughs> and I am so excited. But if you're looking at my videos thinking I only do beauty makeup, I mean, we shall see what comes up this Halloween. I'm not promising anything, but I'm going to try and do something a little bit different on here, okay? If you're excited for fall, if you want Halloween videos, if you like makeup, just hit subscribe. We'll get along just fine. <laughs> and you guys, this palette for full? Uh, yes, bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm acting crazy. Uh, I need to go. Let's get on to the video. <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like. It's got a kind of oil slick background with a holographic topping. It's got a load of graphics all over it. And then as you look at it from the side, you can see it's got three compartments to it. When you open it, you get your warm tones on one side with the pinks and oranges. And then you have this mirror which pops in and out. It's magnetic. And then on the other side, we've got a kind of more neutral, cool tones. And then it all folds up back together there so it's like a little book it's really cute so here's the first row of swatches we have Manchester macaroni modest melted mental man-made mixer and muffin I just realized they all start with M <laughs> And these are all one swipe swatches, by the way. I've only done one layer of each, so that's what they look like. It's pretty impressive as well, considering these are such light shades. They swatch really well for just one swipe. Here's the next two rows. We have Muse, M -m 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 Mad, Mr. H, and Matey. Then we have Mini, Morning Glory, Milkshake, and Michelle. The shimmers in here are pretty insane. <laughs> Here are the first two rows on the cool tone side. We have Main, Monday, Mafia, Master, Mardi, Shmoney, <laughs> Meh, and Minty. And then the final two rows is Marine, Moody Mitch, Mist, Miracle, Morgan, Miles High, Motto, and Mega. It came in this box, but I kind of just ripped it right on out of there. <laughs> it's just a black box with the multicolored writing of the title and all the details are on the back as well with the ingredients and things like that. This is actually called a pressed pigment palette so just to make you aware some of the ingredients in here because it is vegan and cruelty free some of the pigments contain dyes that can stain your eyelids and in some countries they're not actually deemed suitable for the eye area. For more information on that I suggest checking out Beauty Bay's website because that's where you can get this from. It should have an ingredients list and details on it on the website. It has eight shimmers, so that makes a total of 24 matte. 
<laughs> don't you do math I'm pretty sure that's correct which is great because it feels like when you open it you're not overloaded with shimmer and you have a lot of options for looks it's 30 pounds which I think is pretty reasonable for the amount of eyeshadows you get also the pants in here are quite big I am gonna be showing you arm swatches but yeah without further ado I can show you how I did this pretty pinky purple look. I really want to use the pinks and purples in here. Like I really love this color mini. It's like a raspberry color and honestly when I saw this color in the palette this is the main one that <laughs> kind of drew me in because I don't have a color like that in my whole collection really. I haven't taken off the seal yet so let's do that together. Woo. There's a second side. Let's do this one as well. Oh. I have no idea where to start. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna go in with the shade Mini straight off the bat. Ooh, a lot of pigment just came on the brush real quick. <laughs> there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan and that's just from two dips. Gonna tap up the creases on my lid and let's go on in. I think I should zoom you guys in a little bit more actually. So let's see if I can do that. I've just come a little bit closer. So now we can see exactly what's going on. <laughs> let's just go right on in. I'm just gonna... Press this on the outer corner. That is such a pretty shade. Honestly, I've been looking for a shade like this. So much pigment is picked up when you just dab your brush in. Oh, I think I forgot to say, I've just primed with my P. Louise base, which is what I always use. I'm gonna run this slightly through my crease. I like the fact that that's kind of blended into a nice light pink as I buffed it out a little bit. Then in the outer corner, it's kind of kept the richness. I'm gonna deepen up this color just a little bit more and then I think I'm just gonna go in with purple. <laughs> I'm barely tapping my brush into this color and it's just so pigmented. Okay, now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the dark deep purple, which is called Motto. And kind of blend that into the outmost corner of this color. That one's a little bit more hard pressed, so it's not fluffing up as much, but you're getting just as much pigment on the brush. You probably won't be able to see because it's quite a dark color. I'm just gonna put this on the outmost corner by here. Just kind of blend it into this pink. Pull it through the crease as well. This is just to kind of help make it a little bit more cool tone so I can blend it out to the purple. Now I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to use the color Miles High. Quite a bit of kick up on this one but I have just gone in with a big fluffy brush and picked up a lot of pigment. Now I'm just going to go and I'm going to start adding this. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to start adding this to the outer corner and I'm really going to be winging this out and then I'm going to blend it 50% on the bare skin and 50% over the shadow. Hopefully this will all work out in the end. I'm not going to look like I've got a big bruise on my face. <laughs> One thing I think is missing for this palette is a matte white but that's pretty much the only thing that is missing which I kind of wish was in there but oh well. You can't have everything. <laughs> These are so blendable. I can pack on the color, but then blend it out. There's no issues in doing that. And they're really mixing well together, actually. I kind of feel like the purple has come out a little bit darker than what I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be more pastel, but that might have been because it's mixed with the other colors. If you look at it next to my eye, it looks more like the color Morgan. That might be because of the colors that I've mixed it with. I'm gonna try blending a little bit more. I haven't added any more product. I'm literally just using my brush to blend it and make it really smoky. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Motto again and just deepen up this outer corner. I really love that gradient. That's so pretty. Now I kind of want to cut the crease. I want to try a few more of the colors in here and I want to try maybe some of the shimmers. I cannot wait to do a look with all these oranges and reds for fall and the bronzes. I do a look like that for Instagram. If you would like me to film that, please leave a thumbs up on the video and I'll definitely do a fall inspired look with this palette. All right, I've decided I wanna cut my crease. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll be right back. I've had an idea. I kind of wanna outline my crease with a color. I see the P. Louise Academy and all that do this all the time with their bases. I think I wanna try and use Milkshake or should I try Michelle, which is the shimmer. I don't know guys, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with Milkshake, which is the lighter pink. I'm gonna do a line underneath the cut crease. Honestly, these are so pigmented. It picks up so quick on the brush. All right, let's 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 get to this. This is 
isn't looking as bright as it does in the palette. I'm gonna try a different brush and see if that helps. You know what, I actually think I really like that. It's just a nice contrast against the darker pink. It's not the sharpest line in the world, but I quite like it. What I am tempted to do is to go over it with the shade Muffin, which is the white iridescent pink. I think that would just make it pop. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I'm hoping this is gonna pick up with my brush just dry. We shall see. It looks very squishy and soft. I'm gonna try going in with this little brush again and see if I can get it to pop. Oh, it does look like it's working. Oh yay. I don't know how well the shimmer is gonna pick up on camera, but it does look super pretty. Okay, so that did a little something. It kind of like lightened it up a little bit, but didn't do anything crazy. But I do quite like the way it's looking right now. I'm gonna cut the crease again, just underneath this line and make it the kind of thickness that I want. Okay, so I've cut the crease again, and now I still don't know what color to go in with. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back in with the shade Muffin just by itself on the inner third and then I think I'm gonna use the shade Michelle in the kind of center to outer corner and blend the mattes in. I'm gonna try the shade Muffin on a natural hair brush. See if that affects it at all because sometimes it does. Okay let's go ahead and apply it to this inner corner. This is dry. Hello. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to work on this brush so I'm gonna try a synthetic one. There's no kick up with the shade Muffin by the way it kind of like melts into itself if that makes any sense Let's see how this works oh this works a lot better with a synthetic packing brush but i will admit there's not a lot happening with the shade maybe a finger would work better let's try it that felt really buttery and smooth on my finger and look at the pigment on that the only thing i'm gonna hate is i hope i don't ruin that line i created with my finger and i have nails man i can't do this uh, oh so much better pigment wise though Okay, so yeah, that shimmer went on so much better with my finger. <laughs> just gonna get right on the inner corner with a brush though. Okay, I'm just gonna go in the center with the shade Michelle with this little packing brush and just blend. Wow. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> it's weird, once I've kind of like applied it, the shimmer kind of seems to disappear and it's just a shade on my eye, if that makes sense. I'm gonna try with my finger again and see if I can get a better metallic payoff because on my finger, it looks insane. <laughs> I'm back in with Muffin to just blend those two together. It does look super pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The shimmer is now looking so much better that I use my finger. It really wasn't transferring well with the brush. Maybe if I try it with a wet brush, that would help. Boy oh boy, do I really like this eye look. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same on this eye. I'll probably do my face and everything as well and then we can finish up the lower lash line. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, my makeup may look a little crazy. I went a little bit overboard. Uh, <laughs> kind of did it in the dark in my other room, which really does not have the best light in. So uh, this side turned out okay, but this side, I'm just gonna ignore this side of my face, okay? <laughs> but let's finish up the eyes to decide what to do on the lower lash line, which I... <sighs> Do I just go basic and go with the same color or do I venture out and choose something different? I think I'm gonna dip into more of the pinks. I'm gonna use the shade Morning Glory. Very, very pigmented. And honestly, not that much kick up on that shade at all in the pan. I'm just gonna start by buffing this into my lash line. It's a really, really effortless to use. Just blend that out to the outer corner here as well. I don't want it to take over the purple though, so I'm just kind of blending it in by there and not buffing it out. I'm probably gonna bring that lighter purple down a bit further and really, really blend it out. I really wanna go in with the peach shade, which is called Mr. H, so you know what? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so much pigment comes up on the brush. Like, these are just insane. Is that a bad choice? Now I'm gonna just go in with the excess of the purple that's already on my brush. I'm not adding any more product. I'm just gonna kind of blend this out even more. Take it along the lash line just a smidgen. Again, I'm not adding any product. I'm just literally using what's left over on the brush. Okay, 
I'm quite liking the way this is looking. Got this NYX liner, which is the off topic pro liner in the shade Crushing It. Yeah, I got it all on it. Oh, I haven't actually looked at this color. Actually, that's kind of perfect. <laughs> I'm just gonna run that quickly across my lash line. I'm not taking it all the way into my inner corner though, just because I don't wanna look like I got pink eye. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the shade Mini and buff this into the liner and kind of make a little bit of a pink smoky thing on my lower lash line. <laughs> just built up that lighter purple, just a smidgen on the outer corner. And I can't tell you how easy it was. This is one of the best purples I've ever used in my entire life. I literally just went like this into the palette. I picked up enough pigment and I just pressed it on there because I blended the color so much. I've already got that seamless blend and I didn't want to take away from that. So I just put a light amount of product and I just tapped it in the area where I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant. This has worked out so well. I'm gonna go ahead, do my mascara lashes and then we'll come back and talk about my experience and whether I think it's worth your coin or not. Uh, yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let's talk about this palette. <laughs> I know it's a collaboration with my mama Mitchell, who is an amazing makeup artist. I don't know why I doubted that he would come out with a collaboration that might be a dud, but I thought because some of the Beauty Bay palettes that I have previously tried have had a little bit of inconsistencies with the pigment, payoffs sometimes, sometimes they can be a little patchy. Because of that, I was a little bit skeptical, and I feel bad saying that now. <laughs> this is blooming amazing. Pigment on it is insane. Obviously they are pressed pigments which have more pigment to them. The blendability is where it's most impressive. Sometimes with pressed pigments it can be overpowering and it can be a little bit of a challenge to blend these. No problem whatsoever. I've got that blend that I really wanted with that purple. Purples which are notorious for not being blendable, being patchy, just being problematic in general. They have just blended flawlessly and I love the way my makeup look came out. Look at this. Do I not look like a blended Barbie or do I not? <laughs> the answer is no. Okay. <laughs> I really love the way my eyeshadow turned out. The only downside that I could find was the shimmers. They weren't as metallic using the brush but I rectified that with using my finger and although they may not be as blinding as my highlight is because this is the kind of shine that I like. They're still very pretty. I cannot wait to use this palette more and we have so many options in here. That's another thing about it. You've got your mustardy tones, you've got your warm tones, you've got your cool tones. It doesn't have every single color in here but you have so much to play with here. If you're looking for an affordable-ish palette with shimmers and mattes but you want something that you can play with, that you can test the colors out, you can really have fun. I really think this is a good one. £30 for all these colors really is it's not a lot. And you've also even got neutrals in here. Like you could do your everyday makeup with this palette and also just put like a pop of yellow or blue in your inner corner if you felt like it, you know? <laughs> this is a kind of palette that I will probably take traveling. Just because of the options, I feel like I wouldn't have to take another palette with me because I have day to night, I have bright, I have neutral. Like I am happy with the setup of this. I think he chose such a good amount of colors that work well together and you can create so many different looks with this. One thing that I'm not particularly fond of myself, but it's just a personal preference is the packaging. I like the whole oil slick thing, but I don't really like the fact that it's holographic as well. It just, it's just too much for my mind, okay? <laughs> but I do like the fact that it actually bends all the way back. So it's kind of like a book, it has a hinge. I don't know how I feel about the mirror in the center, I'm gonna be honest, which side is it? <laughs> Because it can kind of go in at a skew, but that's some minor thing. I do like that it comes with a double-sided mirror, however. When you like lay it flat, you could have a mirror sitting up like this. So again, it's kind of travel friendly. It is a little bit bulky, but if you're only taking this and nothing else, I don't think it's that bulky then, if you know what I mean. What I would do if I was taking this as well is I'd use some colors for blush. Like you can use the peach or the pink with a very light hand. This kind of color, if you're my skin tone, that's personally what I would do if I'm taking this I just wouldn't bother taking any blushes. Obviously in this video I couldn't try every single colour and I pretty much stuck to the pinks and purples but as I said I would love to do a few more looks with this. Keep an eye on my Instagram just at Curialara same way it is here because I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of looks with this. I consider this a bargain for the quality, for the consistency, packaging, everything, for the amount of product you get in here. I think the price is right on the money. It's so reasonable for everything included. I love the fact that Mama Mitchell has created this. I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I'm kissing his ass, but it's really good. <laughs> and the proof is in the pudding. 
you guys saw. You guys saw how it blended, you guys saw how it applied. You see the finished look. But yeah, this is my new, this is my new baby, I think. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna start thinking about other looks that I wanna do with this palette. Get my brain juices a flowing. I'm never saying that again, that was so gross. <laughs> I love trying different things. I love challenging myself with the eyeshadow department. It is my favorite thing pretty much to do apart from skin. If you like videos like this and you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe. All you have to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button and that will notify you when I upload. Honestly, I have a lovely bunch of people here. They're so kind, so encouraging. I appreciate you guys. If you like those type of people, which it confuses me if you don't, <laughs> but if you do, why not follow along and join the little community we've got? Yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys. It's in the, it's in the similar visit. He, he's in the same similar, what am I, same similar? Great. He's in the similar vis, Angela, Angela, look, ho, ho, ho. look at the highlight. Hello. Where did you come from? Anyway, I'm being weird now. <laughs> Can you love me harder? Ooh. Just gonna quickly run that across my wash. <laughs> what the heck did I just say? Oh, okay, so that is it for this. No, it's not. I really think. I really think for the little. Oh, I can't think clearly. <laughs> Feel free to. Oh, I got something in my eye. Oh my god. I have an itch that won't go away. It's freaking annoy me. Oh my god. Stop it. I got a full face of make one. I do not want to scratch you. Stop it. Beautiful monster. No, I don't mind. And I'm scared of you. Yeah.